are there different paths to truth? The speaker has said 60 years ago, truth is a pathless land. The ancient Hindus have laid down paths according to the tendency of human beings. They said that truth can be attained through knowledge, that truth can be attained through work, that truth can be attained through devotion, romance, imagination. See? Gratifying each human being according to his state, according to his idiosyncrasies. And that is well established. And there have been volumes written on each path, which is the clever birds at that time laid down these paths for the convenience of human beings, for the comfort of human beings. I am devotional, romantic, idealistic, and there is a path for me to follow. So this idea that there are different paths to truth is utter nonsense. Follow the idea, the path leading to a point. I wonder if you understand this. That truth is fixed and this path will lead you there. Or that path, devotion, action, knowledge. And the, I think there are four. I forgot. It doesn't matter. It's not important. So, the Christian path, he, the Hindu, the Buddhist, the Tibetan, the <laughs> Muslim, you follow? Then you are safe. You don't have to give up your power. <laughs> it's a game they play. So truth is not something that's fixed. And therefore there is no path to it which means the mind must be free from all movement. You understand? Path means gradual arrival. And you can take your time. If you can't do it this life, perhaps next life. If you want to do it quicker, go to somebody who will help you. But it's still the movement of walking, striving, moving towards an idea. And when you see the falseness of it, it's really utterly false that there is your way and my way. You see, because your mind is the mind of humanity. It is not your mind, therefore it is not your part. It is the human part, human life, the way we live, the way we meet life, not according to your temperament and my temperament or my idiosyncrasy or your idiosyncrasy, which is what we are doing now. This is human mind, common to all of us. And when one realizes that, not verbally, actually in the, the feel of it, the beauty of it, the depth of it, the extraordinary width of such a thing, then one realizes there is no power, there is no striving for that. There is only this, the transformation of what is, the transformation of aid, 
Genesi, Fia, Sarah, all the travail of our daily human existence. And if there is no love and compassion, nothing exists. You understand? The love that we have is, is not love, it's based on pleasure, maternal instinct. You understand this? Which we have derived from the animals. The love of one's wife, of one's husband, of one's children is still me and you. And with that, Love and compassion goes intelligence. Without this, do what you will, you will never have that.